Welcome MASH members to your Healthy Foundations segment. Today we're gonna to talk to you about exercise type. Matching your healthy movement to what makes sense for you. Basically we're asking what are your natural tendencies and what is your body type? A personal example for us is we were raised in a gymnastics gym, so anything kind of doing ninja activities or playing horse and around on equipment comes very natural to us, as well as I'm very into football quarterback type of drills. I still do them as an adult, whether I'm playing or not. Derek grew up doing karate, he has an MMA career, so he'll be more inclined to do some level of a martial arts exercise because that is his natural tendency and what he enjoys to do and do consistently. Sometimes people tell us that they don't enjoy to exercise. What we would say to that is that you just haven't found the right type of exercise. Because the thing is, exercise is our birthright, and if you look at a baby, it's even squirming at a very young age. And look at children on the playground, they're running full out, full speed. So if you find that exercise that's right for you, you can unlock the same type of thing. So the big thing to look for here is the body type that you have, the things you already naturally enjoy, and the tendencies that you already have. Your body was literally born to move. You're gonna have a lot of the benefits from moving in general. So just by finding things that you enjoy and doing them consistently and things that make sense for your body and your style are gonna benefit you greatly. So there's three different types of bodies. Ectomorph, which is more of the tall and slender build. Mesomorph, which is kind of the athletic type of build. And then you have an endomorph, not necessarily built for speed. So what you can do is actually work out to your body type. So an ectomorph may do more of cardio-based things, running-based activities, higher rep lifting. Mesomorph is built for more of those athletic type of training, whether that be rugby, martial arts, uh, mixing and lifting type of things. And then with an endomorph, might not be built for speed, right? So that's where lifting can really come in. Uh, single throw sports like shot put, javelin, those mean right up your alley for anyone that's an endomorph. So there's a common misconception when it comes to exercising and having healthy movement. Most people think that they have to grind in the gym for two hours and then go do cardio or have these really intense training sessions. And what we're trying to say is that your personality type is gonna lend itself towards specific movements. And as long as you're getting out there and accessing that movement and using your body in some way, you're gonna benefit greatly from that. So think about and ask yourself, what do you enjoy? Do you enjoy going to the gym, shooting baskets and lifting weights? Do you enjoy going for slow walks in nature? Do you like yoga? What is the movement that you actually enjoy doing and what does that environment look like? Asking yourself those questions and then going and doing and trying those things is how you're gonna become a happier, healthier, fitter version of yourself and incorporate that healthy movement. A couple of homework assignments to work on this habit. Number one, try to match your eating style to your level of activity on that day. For example, if you're training some type of leg exercise, it might be okay to have more calories that day. Also, you could try more of an ancestral type of diet, so sticking to more plants, vegetables, single ingredient foods. And a third challenge would be to try something new. Try a new type of exercise you haven't tried before and see if you might like it. So the big thing here is to just try. If you're going to classes or you're going out in the woods, whatever you're doing or whatever you're thinking about doing, as long as it's movement based, go and do and try that thing. By trying it, you're gonna figure out if you like it or not. And recognize that even if you go and you hate it and you fail at the class, that's feedback. And it's gonna let you know that that isn't the movement style for you. So what we're asking you to do here is find your niche, find your exercise style. By participating in those experiments, you're gonna figure out what works best for you. Thank you members for checking out today's Healthy Foundation segment brought to you by Alliance for Shared Health. We're confident if you implement these habits into your daily routine, you'll be a healthier and happier version of yourself.